News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Jake Durant. Rebecca Bartlemy has the night off. For the first time since 1995, two UP boys basketball teams will be playing in the MHSAA state finals. The Menominee Maroons played one of their best games of the season yesterday with a textbook display of team basketball and a win over eCourse in the state semifinals. They've turned the page quickly, now focused on Saturday's D3 championship game against Schoolcraft. Local 3's Haley Schoengard is in East Lansing where she's been following the Maroons during their magical journey. All season long, Menominee has been etching their names into the history books, but now they are one win away from being the second Maroon squad to take home the state title. We've been looking at this for our whole lives, and to get there and then to actually win it, like our coaches and my dad and all those guys that didn't do to make it and be the second team ever to make it to the state finals, it feels really good. Playing their best basketball in the last few weeks, Menominee is looking to stay true to themselves when they take the hardwood on Saturday. That we've been playing is very well, and if we can keep passing the ball and getting open looks, it's going to be key for us tomorrow and take care of the basketball. We had a lot of turnovers yesterday, which that didn't help. We've been saying it all season. Uh, we want to have a one good shooting game. We had one against Escanaba. We had 15 threes. We're hoping to replicate that. A memorable year for Maroon Faithful as a whole, but especially for the eight seniors who are ending their high school careers in a once in a lifetime way. Mike, we only got 32 more minutes left of basketball in general, so this is our last game. Go out in the state championship game, and it's nothing better than that. Menominee will face Schoolcraft on Saturday with tip off at 4 30. Reporting from Olivet, Haley Schongart, Local 3 Sports.